Right now at six, the staggering number of Milwaukee children who've fallen victim to gunfire. According to police, 97 people ages 18 and younger have been shot. There is no more tragic story that's gripping Milwaukee than what gun violence is doing to our children. With that in mind, Ben Jordan takes you in depth on the emotional toll and how one organization is helping parents find hope. Police records show the number of kids shot so far this year in Milwaukee has nearly doubled the amount from the same time period just two years ago. The parent of a shooting victim tells me his son will never be the same. Devastating images show a 16 year old from Milwaukee fighting for his life at Children's Hospital after being shot in the head. It's hard to deal with. It's, it's very hard. Every time I sit down with my son and seeing him in the condition that he's in, it's, 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 it's hard. It's very hard. Kevin Simmons says his son Malik got in a fist fight two weeks ago with another teen and someone showed up at their home hours later. Several shots were fired. One struck Malik as he stood on this doorstep. I just wish they had got to know my son, you know, and what type of person that he was. You know, he's, he's a sweet kid. Police say the investigation is still active with no arrest to share. Meanwhile, Kevin says Malik remains in a coma with significant brain damage. Have doctors said whether they think he will survive? Um, they say if he does survive, they don't, they're not sure if he'll be able to walk, talk, or see and do the things Malik is, you know, was used to doing. Milwaukee police data shows Malik is one of 81 people, 18 and younger, who have been injured in non-fatal shootings in the city this year. That's 19 more than this time last year and nearly double the amount from 2020. Another 16 have been murdered this year and the troubling increase can be seen compared to previous years as well. You won't understand until you feel that type of pain. It's real hard. It's hard for me to sleep at night. The Parenting Network on Milwaukee's North Side provides free programming, counseling and resources to thousands of parents and caregivers each year. How often do you have parents come to you saying they're concerned about gun violence one day impacting their children? Absolutely. All the time. Parents, parents will tell us they're very concerned about gun violence. They're concerned about violence in general. And, you know, with the pandemic, it heightened the stress. Executive Director Joyce Felker says more parents are coming to them feeling afraid and losing hope. What we get more often is the call, my teen is out of control and I do not know what to do. And so for us, it's a matter of coming alongside them, doing coaching, talking about that individual child. Joyce says that coaching is all about strengthening families by helping parents learn the importance of showing their kids love, creating togetherness by having family meals at night, along with how to set rules like where their kids are allowed to go and what time they need to be home. It is hard if you start doing these things when they're already 14, 15 and 16. You know, they're going to push back. And so we need to start earlier. But it is never too late to, to provide some boundaries and know who are their friends. When they leave for the night, where are you going? What are you doing? Reporting in Milwaukee, Ben Jordan, TMJ4 News.